understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. This tabletop shit is hard. Try playing solo. The dragonkin swallows the key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt, laughing at you. Then he- I shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final moments before he dies, I hold the key up to his face, and then I laugh. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing. You won. Yeah, go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? What's Wrathful Rush? It's like a shoulder slam, an angry... Angry shoulder slam. Okay, I do that. You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgaron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. You slam your shoulder into him, knocking him back and doing some damage. Hell yeah. Next. <gasps> oh, holy shit. Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. I am so sorry. Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade. Lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. 
Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20! Fuck yes! You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame! Ooh, snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgaron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Monkey's got serious drawing skills. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours! Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you! You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. When Nathan goes crying to Lord Prescott, everybody here will be stuck doing sensitivity seminars all week. All talk. No game, huh, Chloe? Booyah! <laughs> that took me months to put together! 
Quit the team, Twitch. For your own good. Shit. Next time, mind your own business. You're welcome. Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. You're here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Miranda's an idiot, because falling in love is stupid. What is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so... Why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah Sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Uh, 
Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. <laughs> Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. Let's get the hell out of here. Sure you don't want to just grab the bus or nope if we're gonna go rogue we're doing it right well what the hell am i getting into here where does this thing go Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. The thing's heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Uh, <laughs> so, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? 
I guess you could say I'm good with people. Yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. So, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? by the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad, because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl, born and raised. So, New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's... weird. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. I 
once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's, ah, uh, <laughs> the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh, and you don't like him. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, <laughs> they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. I'm sorry I said anything. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. Oh, God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was 10. Ah. The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. So... If my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something 